The brain can be described as having the consistency of gelatin. It is a very soft organ. It does not have a tough outer layer, so the body protects it by placing its own fortress of bone around it, the skull. However, with all the movement the average human head will endure in a day, the risk of the soft brain squashing against the sides of the hard skull is too high. So it is cushioned in three different layers of protective membrane, the pyre, arachnoid and dura mater, which is lined along the inside of the skull. This provides excellent protection for the brain. It allows you to look down, jump, run, spin around and so on without damaging the brain against the walls of the skull. However, every protection has its limits. A heavy blow to the skull can put enough momentum on the brain for it to crash violently into the sides of the skull and thus being damaged by the very thing that is protecting it. This is called a concussion. A concussion causes brain cells to stretch and tear, altering the electrical and chemical balance critical to cell function and communication. This puts the cell in a highly stressful state, leaving it unable to function properly or even survive. Microscopic fraying and tearing occurs in the membrane surrounding the brain. While these membranes are responsible for cushioning the brain, they also play a part in keeping out free radicals. Unstable molecules responsible for inflaming of the skin after an injury and also cell death and tissue damage. In the event of a concussion, the body immediately sends an array of specialised immune cells. These come from the brain and the blood to patch and fill in the frayed membranes. However, this process is too slow. An excess of free radicals break through the weaker parts of the membrane and migrate into the brain, where they cause a death of brain cells, far from the original impact site.